So, you ready to look at the system? Everybody have a, a good drink. I'm going to put this down because it's starting to get a little uh, hot right now here in uh, Florida. That sunshine just gets a little strong occasionally here in, uh, here in Orlando. Um, how's life back in Britain uh, right now? Uh, three parts to your system. So, we need three, okay? Everybody want to carry on? Everybody happy so far? Type into the chat. Come on. If you haven't typed into the chat, just say hello. Please don't just sit there. You'll fall asleep if you just sit there. Type into the chat. Let me know if you want to keep going. Peter says hello. Nice to hear from you, Peter. Hello, Gus. Nice to hear from you as well. Uh, yes, sir, says Michael. Thanks, PG. Keep going, keep going. Let's roll, we roll. Good, good, good. All right. Repetition helps me change my thinking. Lisa says yes. All right. So these are the three parts to your system, all right? This is ultimately what we need. Uh, three parts to the system, an attraction system, a buy system, and a cash value system. These are the three parts that your marketing system must have. These are what I invented a few years ago. This was really what I brought to the physical therapy world, this whole concept of three systems, three parts. Before that, it was just advertising. Pre-Paul, pre-accelerator method, it was just advertise, sell, market your business, and so on. No, no, no. You need three parts to a system for it to work. And that was the exact plan that I wrote uh, six years ago now on a flight back from Chicago where I first got taught how to do this. And it was, uh, I called it new patient overload, emails, phone calls, uh, letters, uh, web forms, advertisements, the whole thing, right? It, it is mega. So it's gone, um, it's gone off now like a rocket for businesses all across the US. These are the three different uh, types of systems. The attraction system. The attraction system, it gets you the volume of leads that you need. It's a mean uh, of targeting and attracting your perfect patient that you identified in the plan. It's about using the media or platform that you identified in the plan and using different media to get your message in front of the person you identified in the same plan. You want to offer them something of value, right? Value, value, value. So any of you who are having problems with patients not wanting to pay or just putting the phone down the minute they hear, you know, the, the, the cost, whether it's out of network cost, co-pay cost, or just the cash cost, it's because there's no value in advance. Just every, I, I don't think I can get this across. This is the most pivotal bit to understand about your business. Does everybody understand what I mean about this bit? And for some of you, you're not going to believe me when I tell you that, that the reason that they're saying no is not because... Eugene, it's different in, in Staten Island, or Peter, it's different in California, or Bafti, it's different up in New Jersey or New York, wherever that area is that you're from, right? It's not that. It's because there's no value before they call you, right? Look at many of the businesses that you buy from where you're spending significant sums of money. They've either marketed to you or you found them and you've got information from them fast. Everything that you buy that is of a reasonable value and by the way, physical therapy is in that bracket now. If there is no information given first, I won't buy from you. Nothing to do with money. As a patient, I'm not going to say, Babti, the reason I'm not buying from you is because you didn't give me enough information. You didn't give me any videos. You didn't give me any free reports. And I didn't find you any blogs or expert tip style columns on your website. I'm not going to say that. But that's the reality. You have no choice to accept it. You can bitch and whine and whinge and moan about the fact that people don't want to pay for the next 25 years of your life, should you wish to, or we can face up to the thing that we are in control of, we are in control of, of giving value. And value comes in the form of the most simplest thing on planet Earth, information. Information. Eugene, who on planet Earth do you know that doesn't want information to make good decisions? Come on. What on earth is going through your head? Who on planet Earth does not want information to make a decision on a two grand fucking purchase called physical therapy? These people are spending so much fucking money now with you. We've got to get in the real world. They know jack shit about what we do. Nothing. Nothing. Eugene, they don't make impulsive buys. People make impulsive buys on things under $100. I make impulsive buys on candy for Harry. I make impulsive buys on super soakers for Tobias. I make impulsive buys at Disneyland this afternoon for a fucking Spider-Man t-shirt, right? That's $34.99. But I don't make impulsive buys on $2,000 fucking tickets. 
I don't make impulsive buys on $2,000 physical therapy that will take four weeks and take 10 sessions to fix. I need information. If I'm walking into Disneyland today and I'm thinking of doing a Disney cruise, am I signing up for one there and there? Or is what is the truth that will happen is there will be a nice little booth when I walk through the doors later on today. When I walk through the doors of Disney today, I will be multiple times sold on a timeshare, on a cruise, on various different things. But they're not asking me to hand over a two grand fucking check right there and then. They're basically saying, here, do you want a brochure? Here, would you like to come to an event? Here, can I get somebody to call you? Would you like to sign up for an information pack so that you can make a good decision on the next Disney cruise that you might like to spend money on? That's what you are doing. That's what every single person on planet Earth is doing. That's what I'm imploring you to put into your business because this is what they need. It is not insurance problems. It's not fucking out of network problems. It's a lack of information problems. And I'll never, ever, ever buy from you unless you fix that. People in my area would rather spend $1,000 on Gucci. Absolutely, Eugene. You've got to, Eugene, I'd love to get inside of your head and rip whatever's going on. There must be mental torture going on inside of your brain. Like every time I speak to you, it's my town this, my town that, my town the other. Every fucking town wants to spend $1,000 on Gucci. Damn fucking right. Where I'm from, they want to spend $1,000 on Gucci. Why? Because it's called a fucking gratifying purchase. This is the point, Eugene, and this is the point, everybody listening. They won't spend $1,000 on physical therapy because it doesn't fucking gratify them. Therefore, they will spend $1,000 on a Gucci watch. They will spend $1,000 on a fucking TV on Amazon. Absolutely, which is my point. They have got the money, Eugene. It's not a money issue. It's a, they think they can get a better deal and, and, and more fun and something better from somebody else for their $1,000. You have to change that. Here's what life looks like. Here's the equivalent of the Gucci feeling. They're not buying a Gucci watch. They're buying a fucking feeling. They're buying confidence. They're buying certainty in a Gucci watch. When they call you, how much certainty are they getting? What feeling are they getting from you? Probably other than a, well, this is the price. It's $150. Or, oh, well, um, um, oh, oh, sorry to have lost you. Oh, these fucking out-of-network clients, they never want to pay. Exactly. Watch Gucci. What is fucking Gucci? A, a clothing maker, a watch maker, a bag maker, whatever it is. It's, it's irrelevant. Think Rolex, right? It's irrelevant. Think, though, more in terms of gratifying things. People will spend $1,000 on gratifying things. Physical therapy, and this has been my point for five years that I'm trying to get everybody to wake up to, we are not a gratifying product. We are not an urgent need product. We are bottom of the pile. And if the fucking lecturers at PT school actually got us to wake up to this, we'd all have very, very different egos. And instead of thinking that we have the most valuable skills on planet Earth, which we do, by the way, incredibly valuable skills, here's the big problem, the massive problem, the people who we need to pay us don't see it that way. That's my job, marketing. That's what we get paid for. That's the difference between a business owner that makes a shitload of money with okay skills, even decent skills. Then the business owner who struggles for 30 years with the best skills. Fact. The, the faster that we face up to this, the quicker that these problems will go away. This is true understanding, Eugene. Mastery of how people live, how people buy, what they buy. They're not buying physical therapy. They're buying an outcome. They're not buying a fucking watch from Gucci for $1,000. They're bored. They need some gratification. They're having a midlife crisis. They've had a shit week at work. Their kids are badly behaved. They'll go online and spend $1,000 to make themselves feel better for the one hour that the hit lasts. And then they'll fucking do it again next week. That's how people get into debt. That's why people have miserable, bored lives by the time they get to a certain age because they don't understand what they're buying. I'm trying to help every single one of the 500 people on this webinar understand facts facts of how a human being buys what they buy reverse engineer it so that we can have more successful businesses it starts with information to help me understand what the fuck i am buying and if you want fifteen hundred dollars from me you want two thousand dollars from me i will give it to you but not if i don't understand what i'm getting if i don't understand what is waiting for me at the rainbow the the, the end of the rainbow the other side i will not give you the money and you will always be blaming Staten Island. You'll always be blaming Phoenix, Scottsdale, 
Hartlepool, Newcastle, Denver, wherever the fuck you're listening to this thing, the same bullshit is going on in your head as every five hundred, per- every one of the 500 people on this webinar right now. You have no choice but to make a shift towards information first in your business or it will be painful. And we'll, you'll be back on this webinar in five years going, oh, Staten Island, oh, Phoenix. It's getting worse here in Phoenix. This doesn't, this doesn't work in Orlando. This fucking thing, oh, this recession. It's the most fucking prosperous time on planet Earth for the last hundred years. People have got more money right now than ever before. They're spending it more than ever before. We're, we're getting close to another fucking tip. Be ready for it. Free reports look like this. The tips report. Tips report serves as a bridge from skepticism and fear. Rule 101 of business. How do I take you, Mr. Skeptical? Right now, Eugene, Mr. Skeptical about everything. Literally, right? And every, that's where we are. That's how we all are born, by the way. Skeptical about everything. What's the difference between being skeptical and certain? You bet. Information. Information that helps me understand what it is I'm getting into. That if you want my $2,000, help me understand it. A bridge is free information in the form of free reports, videos. No coincidence, some of you are on here. How many people right now are on here? You've been watching videos of me on YouTube. You've listened to my podcasts. I'm giving you information. Uh, Why do I write books? It's a gateway to buying my products and services. I have to give you information in advance of sales. That's the way it works. I have to do it in this business. I have to do it in my physio business. I have to do it in any business that I want to set up in the future. Videos are another way about solving problems. Blogs, having them all over your website, solving specific problems of the person that you want to do business with. Newspaper ads, they are still still pound for pound one of the best ways of getting new patients this is what our clients are doing right now these are some of the best marketing campaigns that we've seen this year whether it's happening in uh in in, um, north carolina whether it's happening over in uh, detroit area whether it's happening in washington san diego newspaper ads still position you as an expert and they bring in a trickle of five six seven calls every week Every week, run two ads a month, there's 15 of your leads. Most importantly, you're positioned as an expert. That's where the pricing conversation starts to become irrelevant. Expert tips articles. Give people information. Run an ad and just write five things to do to to ease your back pain. Stick it in your local newspaper. You can't tell me of 15,000 people reading a newspaper. I love this comment. Oh, but nobody reads the newspapers anymore. Really? What, nobody? Not one person. Oh, well, newspapers have gone down. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, 10 years ago, there was 40,000 people. Now there's only 15,000 people. Well, guess what, Sherlock? I don't need 15,000 fucking people. I need five. If I can't get five people out of 15,000, I'm putting a gun to my head and ending it right now. Like, that's the reality. I don't need 40,000 people. I only need five. And I can get that from a newspaper ad. But guess what? Here's the best news. Because there isn't 40,000 people reading the newspaper anymore. Guess what? It isn't as expensive anymore. It would have cost me two grand to put an ad in for 40,000 people, which as a small business, I might not have been able to afford. But because now advertising costs in newspaper is a third of what it was 10 years ago, I can get my ad ran for three, four, five hundred dollars $500. Oh, there's always a yin and a yang. If you choose to see it and not get caught up in the dogmatic way of thinking or lack of thinking that most people exert these days. So we found the combination of these types of articles where we give away free tips, but also at the same time offer information and somebody to call the office and get works very, very well. Double response. If you can position yourself as an expert and then offer free information for people to come and get from you, bingo, there's the magic. So strategy on Facebook the clients are using. Some of my ads right now look like this. So the educational video goes out first. We build trust. Anybody who watches the video, we retarget to them and we offer them a free information report on back pain. Significantly lowers the cost. I can get a video watched probably for 10 cents, 20 cents equivalent, and it means I can get an opt-in on Facebook for probably 5 or $6 equivalent, right? You try running a Facebook ad right now, people are, are struggling because they're literally just whacking up a, hey, book an appointment style ad that nobody wants. I can pick up leads on Facebook for probably 6 $7 with this strategy. And I've been running it for five, six, seven years. People who do the accelerator program with me, I'll show you my first ad from 2013. 
20, in fact, it might even be 2012, August 2012, I think it was, when the Facebook platform uh, very first opened for ads. I've got the original ad that I run six years ago. I've gone on to spend over hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook because it works. It works. Right now, the sweet spot is about five or $600 a month, and that's all I ever ask any of our clients to spend. $15 a day, $20 a day max, you get a good return of, of 10 to 15 leads from Facebook every single month. Quizzes work brilliantly well. We invented this thing. Uh, the low back injury severity assessment, and we get people to answer 10 questions on, on Facebook. Uh, you ain't answering a quiz on Facebook about back pain if you haven't got Facebook. We get somebody's telephone number, engage with us on the quiz, and we give them a call 24 hours later and say, hey, here's the results of your, your survey. This is what we think we can do to help you. So Facebook, um, a lot of people wanted to know, well, how do you make you know, Facebook work these days? Well, here it is. This is what we do for clients. Um, different types of videos, different calls to action, whether it is uh, an educational video, whether it's click to take the quiz, whether it's send us a message on Facebook, which we're seeing more and more people do now. Uh, we're moving a lot of our clients towards send a message through Facebook and have a chat there, which makes it much easier uh, to get in touch with people. Uh, fill out a form, click a link below, take a free guide many many different ways to make it work if you've tried facebook you'll know it can be frustrating significant changes uh, at facebook make it very difficult for you to get your ads to even run these days never mind anything else we have an agency now and we spend i, I want to say 40 50 grand a month on facebook for all of our clients we have a direct link to facebook which gives us dare i say a, a, a slight advantage because all of our ads get run into one big well-known account. Paul Goff Media has a direct line with Facebook. We've got our own uh, line to them. We have our own rep there. We can pick up the phone if ads don't get uh, accepted and so on. And we, you know, we get accounts to run. That That is a big problem for many of the smaller businesses is that Facebook just don't want to run your ad. And that's a huge, huge issue. But if you can get them to make it work for you, um, it's it's massive. The issue is that they've reached capacity. So they literally just, they, they don't need that much more advertising now and they're just Darwinian, they just whack ads they don't like um, and they only stay with the ad companies or the ad providers that they you know that they trust. These are the types of ads that we're running and, and we're seeing over the last, certainly this year in 2019, the rise of the video, the quiz um, and the blog. All of those things are working very, very well. But the strategy that we use now is Google Ads plus Facebook. And I'm going to share with you a little bit on that uh, in a moment. Uh, that's Nick over in Australia. We've got Luke there in Washington. And that's a remarketing ad that you can see there for, um, for, for Luke. And a remarketing ad basically means that somebody searched for Luke on his website or, or searched for Luke on Google. What they'll then see on Facebook within five minutes is his ad basically saying, hey, uh, click here for an inquiry about how to start physical therapy uh, with us. So these, these are the ads that are right now working for, uh, for clients. These are some, uh, literally, I asked yesterday for the most up-to-date ads that were running for clients, uh, whether it's Jake down in Florida, uh, we've got Jason there in Texas, and we've got Level 4 PT ads running over in San Diego. Different uh, videos, different messages. Uh, you can see things going on there. Um, send us a message to get your free back pain report. Uh, all around information. Information first. It's, it's working like crazy all across the planet right now for our clients on Facebook. And, and when we add in the remarketing uh, from Google, boom, magic uh, magic happens. The very fact that you then get positioned as a celebrity, uh, less, less less problems when it comes to um, when it comes to the, the, the money conversation. Uh, Google AdWords, one word, breathtaking, breathtaking results. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like Google in the last uh, three to six months in terms of any impact from any platform consistently uh, for clients all over the world. Sometimes I'm like, well, we'll start newspaper ads and we'll see how it goes. But with Google ads, we know now uh, artificial intelligence is the big change. And Google has got laser, laser sharp uh, with their platform now and, and their ability to get in front of people who are really, really looking for what you have got. It's now the number one. When I used to do this webinar in the past, it was Facebook for a while. Google has gone way past Facebook for us in terms of what we're seeing for our most successful clients right now. Uh, the number one source of referrals for almost all of the most successful clinic owners that we are working with. So here's some examples, some ad examples of different clinics. I'm just going to share with you uh, five or six there. We can run ads for chronic knee pain. Uh, we can run ads for a stenosis. We can run ads for discovery visits. Um, and we see um, different web pages you know, respond differently, but so on and so forth. But really, um, if somebody's searching for physical therapy or types in chronic knee pain, what to do about it, uh, PT now comes up first. Chronic or nagging knee pain. 
Volk Physical Therapy. So if you're looking for physical therapy in Concord, uh, you're going to see that ad uh, at the number one, at the top of Google now. It gets uh, the, the user, if you like, onto the uh, web page and very, very likely to fill out the form for the three, uh, for the 30 minute discovery visit. Why wouldn't they? That's what they've searched for and that's what they've clicked on. So Google AdWords is the express route for me now to, to you know, for any of the clients that we start working with, just assuming that your website's up to scratch and I'll show you how to do that as well next. Google AdWords is the express route to getting more phone calls. Um, it's the end of free listings. That's the only downside uh, to Google Ads. And what that means is if you're uh, relying upon the free business listing that was kind of piddled around a few years ago, everything free is, is by the end a complete waste of time when it comes to marketing. Uh, because the, the, the big companies, Facebook, why did they ban all of the newsfeed stuff? Because everyone was just posting free shit. They're a company. They want to make money. Figure out how to do it uh, at, at a cost uh, that's cost effective for you. So there's an ad, and this was probably three years ago when we did it for Canyon Physical Therapy, um, getting uh, them to number one. What it does is it pushes all the free people down. So um, it, it really is the end of the free listings for, for many people. And you know, if you've been relying upon that, you'll, you'll see that drop down. So Google AdWords is the, the place that we're pushing a lot, of our, um, a lot of our clients now. The opportunity for you to get to the first one, two, and three um, on, on Google uh, is phenomenal. Um, now is the time to get there. Um, so website, let's take a look at some things happening on our clients' websites. They are the vital part of the attraction system. Uh, the purpose of a website is to begin a relationship by providing information. Uh, the recent changes have rendered most websites completely redundant. Um, we had a situation with a client very recently uh, where this happened, um, that their website had issues with certain things and it literally dropped off the face of the earth. It needed to be uh, Google compliant, if you like, uh, what, what I call search to task completion friendly. Um, if you don't have that going on your website, you will have problems. Uh, most websites have a conversion ratio of about 1% uh, when it could be as high as around about 15 to 20 if it's designed with engagement or information first. There's those words again. Information first is, is the key. Not book an appointment first. Information first. Website success really, in a nutshell, comes down to this. So any of the clients that come to me about websites, they either go out to Fleming or they go to Christine with the specific instruction of build them a website with search to task completion in mind. If you don't have search to task completion in mind on your website, not, nothing's happening. Absolutely nothing happening. It means that Google is now looking for signs that somebody engaged with your site. Did they take action on your site? Did they watch a video? Did they scroll a blog post? Did they opt in for a free report? Did they fill out a form? Did they share or like a blog post? If they don't, expect not to be anywhere near the top or even on page one in the next 12 months. It, it will be painful for you. So that's your attraction system. Um, to sum that up, right now, if you asked me, I'd say Google, then I'd say Facebook, and then I'd start looking at things like newspapers and postcards underneath that. But Google AdWords and Facebook together, collectively, magic is happening right now for um, many, many, many of our clients. The next thing you need is the nurture system, right? Which is this phase here. The, the, the nurture system. Uh